to piping engineers in today's video guys we will learn about the piping interview questions we will see what are the questions that a piping interviewer can ask you guys in an interview so if you are preparing for an interview of supervisor foreman piping engineer piping design engineers you should watch this video for more videos and updates guys please like follow and subscribe to our channel so let's begin our today's video and learn about the piping interview questions so guys the first question in today's video is what is the need for a gasket in a wall so gaskets guys you all would be knowing they are uh, rubber types uh, uh, things that are placed between two pipes or between two mating flanges uh, in order to prevent the leakage around the mechanism so to in order to get a tight shut off we provide the gaskets between the two mating parts or between the flanges of a system or flanges of a wall or flanges in a pipeline so this is the basic purpose that a gasket serves in a piping system next question is guys what is the full form of a arc wall in boiler feed pump so if you are going for a interview uh, let's say related to a power plant so this arc is the most important thing uh, that can be asked to you so arc stands for your automatic recirculation wall so automatic recirculation wall we have a uh, independent video for this so in order to learn detail about it you can see we will put the link in i button next question is guys what is a breather wall so breather uh, the as the name suggests itself a breather means a thing that can be used to breathe so a breather wall is used in a storage tank so that it can release gas or vapor in case of high internal pressure so whenever there will be some high internal pressure inside the system a breather wall will be used so that that internal pressure can be released to the atmosphere next question is guys what is the need of a steam trap in a pipeline so steam trap is one of the important uh, fitting you may call that is used in a uh, steam system or in pipeline so steam trap basically they are used to separate the condensate and the steam and this condensate we need to remove at several places from the steam pipeline why because if this uh, goes away with our steam there may be losses in the temperature and water can enter our uh, turbines or some other machineries so this needs to be removed at cer certain places and this is removed condensate is removed with the help of your steam traps next question is guys what is the difference between NPSHA and NPSHR so NPSH <coughs> stands for your net positive suction head available while NPSHR stands for your net positive suction head required so these basically these two things they are related with your pumping system so what NPSH A is specific to the system and it is defined by the system designer or the process engineer who is selecting the pump while NPSHR is provided by your pump manufacturer so basically in order not to have cavitation in your pumping system NPSH available should always be greater than NPSH R we have a detailed video on this as well so you may look at our detailed video to learn about NPSH A and NPSH R. Moving on to the next slide, guys. So, what is the CV value of control wall? So, guys, uh, control walls are used in your industry and uh, they found a most important use where we want to control the flow. So, CV value is basically the flow coefficient and it is the capability of a control wall at a fully open condition relative to the pressure drop across the wall. So, basically, it is defined by your uh, pump manufacturer uh, sorry wall manufacturer and wall manufacturer uh, provides you this value so this is the cv value guys uh, moving on to the next question guys what are the different losses of cooling towers so cooling towers are most important part of a maybe your steel industry your oil and gas refineries every industry has cooling towers so cooling towers they uh, have different types of losses and the most important categorically three losses are there so one is your evaporation loss next is your drift loss and third is your blowdown loss so all these three losses uh, are part of the cooling tower cycle and we have a detailed video on this as well and you may watch that on our channel uh, moving on to the next question guys what is a blowdown so blowdown uh, is uh, nothing but uh, but the removal of water whose quality is not as per the system quality so that water has to be removed periodically uh, we remove that water from your cooling towers we remove that water from your uh, boilers 
so that water is removed whose quality is not matching with the system quality or system requirement so that is removed from the system and your system is replenished or refilled with the fresh water so removal of this water from the existing system is known as blowdown uh, moving on to the next question guys what are the different types of pipe supports so pipe supports are important part of our piping system and we cannot lay our piping if they are not supported so with uh, we say otherwise there are many pipe supports but we are talking here about most prominently the four supports which uh, are used in every industry so one is your saddle support next is your shoe support third one is your u clamp support and another last one is your hanger support so on maximum piping is your mounted on on these four types of supports so guys let's move on to the next slide and see what are the questions mentioned in it so in in this slide we will be seeing about uh, the first question and the first question in this slide is uh, what uh, api standard is followed for centrifugal pumps design so basically when we select a pump uh, there is this api american petroleum institute standard uh, on which on which your centrifugal pumps are designed everything is provided in this standard so most of the pump suppliers they manufacture pump according to this standard so the standard is your api 610 this question is also very general question and your interviewer may ask about it uh, next question is guys what is the basic difference between pipe specification material estimate 106a grade abc so if you are a piping supervisor or a foreman or maybe a piping engineer they can ask you about the grades difference so estimate 106 grade a basically if i say in these three grades the difference lies in mainly the carbon content so estimate 106a grade a is having 0.25% of carbon and it is suitable for your low temperature applications while 106 grade b is having 0.3% of carbon and it is commonly used for high temperature applications generally your steel your uh, mid pressure steel uh, mid medium pressure steam or medium temperature steams have the piping material of 106 grade b next is your 106 grade c this is the most superior quality of uh, uh, you know the steel uh, stb 106 and it offers better mechanical properties so these are the uh, three grades of stb 106 abc which we use in industry and they are having their own different properties and uh, depending upon their carbon difference these are categorized next question is guys what is the normal upstream and downstream straight length of the orifice flow meter so in upstream in order to have the right or correct reading so upstream should be having minimum 10d and best is basically 15d but minimum we should be having uh, 10d straight length so that orifice gives the correct reading while in downstream it should be minimum 5d so upstream 10d or minimum downstream 5d so if we maintain these two uh, uh, we will be having chances that our orifice flow meter gives us the correct reading next question is and today's last question is explain the set pressure so set pressure it is the inlet pressure at which a safety relief valve is adjusted to open so basically this is the pressure at which your safety valve uh, will be opening and this is the set pressure of the safety valve beyond this when the system goes beyond the set pressure your safety valve will open and it will bleed away all the system all the things present inside the system so this is the last question of today's video hope you guys have learned something so guys thank you for watching the video and for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel thanks a lot